Plusk is a hosting control panel for developers, website builders, and designers that can be used to manage websites, applications, domains, certificates, mailboxes, and more. With Plusk, you can administer WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal websites all on a single instance. In this video, we will configure a Plusk instance in Amazon LightSail and add a few domains and websites with Let's Encrypt SSL TLS certificates for HTTPS support. For more information about Plusk, browse to the address shown on the screen in the Plusk documentation. The steps covered in this video include configuring the LightSail firewall for Plusk, getting the Plusk one-time login address, signing into Plusk for the first time, adding domains to Plusk and installing applications, configuring the LightSail DNS for the added domains, and installing certificates for domains in Plusk. Now, before you can start using Plusk, there are a few things you need to do first. Create a Plusk instance in LightSail, and create DNS zones in LightSail for the domains that you will administer in Plusk. Browse to the addresses shown on the screen if you need information about how to set up these prerequisites. Keep in mind that LightSail can host the DNS for up to three domains. If you need to add more domains, then we recommend using Amazon Route 53. For more information, browse to the address shown on the screen in the Route 53 documentation. Okay, now that we have the prerequisites in place, let's get started. So by this point, you should have a running Plusk instance and one or more domains added as DNS zones in LightSail. Before you can sign into the Plusk panel, you must open a few ports on the instance. Navigate to the Instance Management page and choose the Networking tab. Add four new entries under the Firewall section. Add TCP port 53 and UDP port 53 for networking, TCP port 8443 to access the Plusk panel, and TCP port 8447 for updates and upgrades. Choose Save to open the ports for the instance. Next, you must get the one-time login address to create an administrator account for the Plusk panel. To do this, connect to your Plusk instance using SSH. The browser-based SSH terminal in the LightCell console is the easiest way to connect to your instance. Enter the command shown on the screen to get the one-time login address for the Plusk panel. Highlight one of the addresses shown on the screen, open the browser-based SSH client clipboard, and then copy or cut the address to your local clipboard. To sign into the Plusk panel, open a new browser tab and navigate to the address that you copied or cut to your clipboard. You may see a security prompt stating that the website is not private or secured. Choose Advanced and then Proceed. Fill in the fields shown on the page, accept the end user license agreement, and then enter Plusk. Plusk will take a few minutes to initialize, and then you will be redirected to the Plusk panel. In the Plusk panel, you can administer multiple domains and websites under a single Plusk instance. Each domain can have its own website or application. For demonstration purposes, I will add robbox123.com, robbox123.net, and robbox123.org. I will then install a different application under each domain, WordPress, Drupal, and Joomla. Choose Add Domain in the Plusk panel. First, I will add robbox123.com. Enter a domain name a username and a password. The username and password are used only if you access your websites using FTP and SSH. By the way, if you want to learn more about FTP and SSH, browse to the address shown on the screen in the Plesk documentation. Skip the step to configure the SSL TLS certificate. We will do that later in this video. Now I will add robbox123.net. Fill in the fields shown on the page. Again, skip this step to configure an SSL TLS certificate. And finally, I will add robbox123.org. Fill in the fields shown on the page. And again, skip this step to configure an SSL TLS certificate. 
To install WordPress on one of the domains, choose Install WordPress listed under that domain. I will install WordPress on the robbox123.com domain. In the prompt that appears, confirm the settings and install. WordPress requires a few minutes to install. Now I will install a different app on the robbox123.net domain. Choose Websites and Domains in the left navigation of the Plesk panel. Scroll to find the desired domain, then choose Install Apps under that domain. I will install Drupal on this domain. Drupal requires a few minutes to install. And now I will install a different app on the robbox123.org domain. Choose Websites and Domains in the left navigation of the Plesk panel. Scroll to find the desired domain and then choose Install Apps under that domain. I will install Joomla on this domain. Joomla requires a few minutes to install. Now that all of the domains have an app installed on them, I will configure the DNS zone for the domains to point to the Plesk instance. You must do this for every domain that you intend to manage using Plesk. Go back to the LightCell console and browse to the Networking tab on the LightCell homepage. Choose one of the domains and edit the Apex and www address records to resolve to the Plesk instance. Choose the Save icon. Now I will repeat the steps for the robbox123.net domain and edit the Apex and www address records to resolve to the Plesk instance. And finally, I will repeat the steps for the robbox123.org domain and edit the Apex and www address records to resolve to the Plesk instance. The final step is to configure SSL certificates on each domain to enable HTTPS. Go back to the Plesk panel. Choose Websites and Domains in the left navigation. Under a configured domain, choose Let's Encrypt. In the form that appears, choose Include a www subdomain and then Install. Now I will repeat the steps for the robbox123.net domain by choosing the Let's Encrypt option for that domain, selecting Include a www subdomain, and then installing. Finally, I will repeat the steps for the robbox123.org domain by choosing the Let's Encrypt option for that domain, selecting Include a www subdomain, and then installing. After the certificates are configured, each of the domains will redirect from an HTTP to an HTTPS connection as shown on the screen. Finally, to access the Plesk panel once again, just browse to the IP address of your Plesk instance and follow the instructions on the page. In this video, we showed you how to configure a Plesk instance in Amazon LightCell, and we added a few domains and websites with Let's Encrypt SSL TLS certificates for HTTPS support. For more information about the steps covered in this video, browse to the address shown on the screen. And for more information about using the Plesk panel, browse to the address shown on the screen in the Plesk documentation. Thank you for watching.